Good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you are tuning into this. My name is Adam Ivel and you're listening to Car Mugs Podcast. This is episode six of a total of six. So uh, you are, if you've listened to all six before, then you've got 100% hit records. So welcome back. This is uh, presented by 621. Um, what should I say after that? Know, really. Well, presented by 621, best place to get all your car parts and merch and stickers. So go check us out, www.621.com. So today, I'm joined by a special guest. My first special guest in a long time. I'm answering an age-old question with this. Where's Tom Peck? <laughs> he is right here with me. So I am... Um, thank you. Welcome. Join. Welcome. For, hello. Hello. <laughs> thank you for joining me. It's good me to be evening. here. It's on the radio, isn't it? <laughs> So I thought we'd get Peck on because everyone seems to love him if they watch my YouTube. God knows why, but they do. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to make this thing track that. It just keeps failing. So we're so new to this. Like I'm pl- recording this on GarageBand with one microphone. So if it sounds turd, that's why. Utmost of apologies. Um, Finn's running around in the background. Don't know what he's doing. But, uh, but yeah, regardless, we're going to try and make this a good podcast people have been asking me questions on my instagram to ask peck which we'll get to a bit later but i thought we'd cover some topics straight away why are you making that face for what face <laughs> my normal face oh, oh. <laughs> uh, i thought we'd just cover some topics that me and peck can run over and kind of fill you in on you know ba- the basics really like who you are what you do where'd you come from where'd you go where'd you come from <laughs> and peck so basically i've known peck for well, I'm 29 now. I met you, what, when I was 17? Blue, blue Civic, wasn't it? Yeah, 12 years. 12 of the worst years of my entire life. <laughs> but, bro, matter ups and downs, aren't we, old Pekka? Mm. But I thought we could kind of fill people in. So, met you back in the day, the Blue Civic. Down the patch. You wouldn't get a driver's license. No. And it did my fucking head. In. Like, I've never been more frustrated over anything. I didn't need to, though. Cause... No, because oh, you had me. Yeah. I literally was your personal taxi service. <laughs> for what? How long do you reckon? Fuck it. Four years, five yeah. years of just solid being a tax. And the constant, I'm not getting you tonight. Then it's like, you busy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just kind of spiralled from there. And we are where we are now. Best friends again. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peck, you drive. We're obviously on car mugs. So we have to talk about cars briefly. Uh, you drive an EP3 Type R. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that, but how is it? It's cool. It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> Another kind of silly thing you're taking on the interior out now. It's fucking loud. Yeah. Um, don't really drive much now, do I really? Do you reckon you can hear that dog bark in the background? That's not even my dog. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <coughs> so I haven't been well all week. So mm. if I'm still stuffy, now, I'm trying to combat it with loads of medicine, which is Amstel beer. And uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that'll make me feel better. Probably make me worse, but I've got a weekend to recover. So I should start really by asking, are you going to players this weekend? Or yes or no? Just possibly. For... Possibly. I'm probably not with how I feel, mm. as you can have experienced. I'm not feeling very well. Um, so, But I thought we'd still be able to do a podcast. Well, I see, you see either that or tidy your garage. I mean, or we can do both. I don't want to do both. Um, I'm up for tidying the garage. Oh. <laughs> so um let's dive straight in with some listener questions for you tom peck um tom's never listened to a podcast he's never been on a podcast so he doesn't know what the fuck he keeps stroking his beard out of anxiety i can see <laughs> yeah, I, just, I keep like getting on my long bits and biting them yeah he's being all right weirdo <laughs> um yeah, it's how... not like it's not like being on camera though it's different it's better well, I wouldn't say it's better. Mate, you can pick your nose and no one sees. Well, this is true. I mean, it's lovely. Uh, it's lovely. Yeah, you can let your belly fucking dangle <laughs> down. You ain't got to suck it all in in case a girl's watching. It's wicked. Thank you, shit. Right, so, first question is from Edward Lowe. Edward underscore Lowe. How did you get in the cars, Tom Peck? Um, I don't really know. I, th- I mean, I think it was probably hanging around with... Me. Yeah, and then... But, but like, I think... First of all, it really started was probably the industrial estate, I reckon. Mm. It was just like Ryan Butcher, Aaron, Harv, when Harv was cool. <laughs> and like, yeah, like you, Christ, like Muzzy, Stuart Payne. Finn! <laughs> Sorry, Finn's scratching his bowl across the floor. Yeah, you keep talking, I'm going to let Finn have some food real quick. I reckon it's probably all the Manning, all the Manning Tree, because obviously like, when I moved to Manning Tree, I didn't, I just BMX all the time. And then... Sorry about the noise, people. I'm really sorry. This is such bad etiquette. We're, just gonna, we're gonna take a two-second breather. 
One second. Come on. Right, we're good. Sorry, I've just given the rest good of the ball. Fucking Sorry. lord. Sorry. This is real life. This is real life. <laughs> so yeah, manic tree. Yeah, oh I no. Think... I don't no. like saying where we <laughs> Oh. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's Manning Tree. It's a big place. Well, I say it's a big place. It's not a big place. No. You can walk to one end to the other in <laughs> half a second. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter, does it? Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, fuck it. Manning Tree, then. Manning Tree. High Street. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was mean. I mean, and then everyone would go to the patch. And then Tollgate. Tollgate was the boy. Oh, it was good, Dan. Tollgate was good. And obviously now it's been shut down. Mm. I mean, other than that, and then... Stop playing with your fucking beard, it's so annoying. Why is it annoying? Because you can't <laughs> fucking grow one. I can't grow one, you can't. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, obviously hang around with you and your circuit. I, mean, you know, I wanted to get one. And then, yeah. You no, know, here I am. And then the DC5 came along. Yeah, the, no- the noise maker. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Is that the insane. one that had the brick through the window? Yeah. That thing was insane, man. Like, I think we've got some good. Should we just go straight into some stories? We like from the DC five. Yeah. Like, what's your best memory of that car? Oh, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> definitely getting the letter from Missley, the Missley people yeah. when he did the big burnout down, yeah. the, down the hill. Uh, yeah, or when we went to when we went to Wales. see Lance. To see Lance yeah. in Wales, the big burnout off the off when, oh, at the border. <laughs> <laughs> and then what was it what, what speed did we get up to I mean, 47 I think it was pretty ridiculous like, not on the public road obviously oh of course not Finn fuck off so annoying right what? Finn <whistles> come here sorry my dog is a pain in the ass, but I can't get rid of him so this is it um, no one wants him but yeah um, I liked it doing that burnout down mm. there the last night or actually when we went to the industrial estate industrial estate remember when you did that you pulled off and we were all video in that little area. Right, what did I do? You just you just like did a really hard but it just shot that like, backfire. Oh yeah, yeah. That was good. That was a good moment actually. Yeah. Oh um, with Lance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah. that's sick. That video's actually online <coughs> still if you wanna check that mm. out. Um God mate, <laughs> come here. I think even out. one even one of my very first photos on Instagram is actually your black integra on the Ragers. Is it? Outside Hart's house, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that, that that car gave me some great memories, um, mm. And then you got the, and then the white one. That, that was a piece of shit. That was actually had it had good mods on it though. It had amazing mods, but everything else was shite. Yeah, yeah. Learn my lesson with that one though. Then you brimmed it full of oil. No, I didn't. <laughs> Whoever had it before me ran it dry of oil. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong with that car. I maintained mm. it to the utmost of pistons. You should a Honda. Yeah, but um, but yeah, it was cool, man. But the DC five members were probably my favourite because obviously mm. back in the day I was going through a lot with a certain girl, and you were there to be my pal and listen to my stories. Been for it all, man. That car, though, that was a sick car. We had a lot of fun in that, man. Since like, of things, man. Yeah, since of things, man. Since of stuff and things, man. Uh, also, another good memory was definitely the FN two. Do you think? Definitely. That was an FM1. Oh, FM1. Yeah. What, what memories have you got when from you, that? When we were trying to get into that hospital after you pushed Narm under that fucking oh, monster truck. Oh, my God. And got it stuck. <laughs> yeah. Got it pure lodged. And it was that. like a brand new hospital. <laughs> yeah. And we were like just running around with a trolley. Yeah. Oh, that was so... Like running around the hospital. Was, we were like, we need some help. And there was just no one there in this creepy yeah. old hospital. Well, brand new. It was like the place had been evacuated, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, it was weird, man. It was weird. But it was It was cool. And just for the record, Adam did push Rowan Arbra <laughs> underneath the monster vehicle I and remember. blamed me the whole weekend. <laughs> Got me to the point where I actually did think it was me and I was second guessing myself. <laughs> so I, I even apologised to him for <laughs> fuck's sake. And then he then he said to me on the quiet, yeah, it was actually me. I was like, I did it. I wanted a drink so bad. <laughs> Arsehole. <laughs> Pick up the monster truck. <laughs> Love it. That was funny, man. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't for me. I felt terrible. I actually ruined my weekend. Yeah, it was fun as fuck. Oh, they were good times, man. I, I loved the Dish and Thirty Eight, the Revit mm. line. That was so much yeah. fun. We went that in. Keyboard. I took the leg, I took the um, Integra of that, didn't I? The yeah. Honda with the dub show. Do you remember that guy that kept screaming something, and in the end, it got so annoying. It was like, Shut the <laughs> fuck up. That was so. And that fun. guy with his M5 as well, doing flyby. Oh, yeah. super early in the morning. That was um, hum- Humberside Police. Yeah. Almost around yeah. with me. Keep talking. I'm gonna shut them windows because I fucking dog bark. <laughs> what about um, when that guy jumped off the inflatable bed edition? Remember and hit the floor, but he kneed his face at the same time. Oh yeah, <laughs> Man, that was good. 
What, what, um, I'm gonna ask you a. Let me get, come sit back down. I'm gonna ask you another question. I'm so sorry this has been so unprofessional, but me and Peck are friends, so it doesn't really mean anything this one, does it? It's just a bit of fun, and so you can kind of get to know the internet sensation that is Tom Peck. <coughs> so, look, before we dive more into questions that I've been asked, let's carry on, because I've enjoyed this chitter chat about shows, because I've forgot, I've pushed all of these memories to the back <laughs> of my mind, but there's been some funny ones, man. Mm. I remember coming back because I was driving Vicky's Golf oh my and you God. and Pilgrim yeah. were in that polo van <laughs> and that I don't know what that CRV lady had a problem with but I was throwing donuts at Richard Jones's polo yeah, behind me yeah I think me. it's because they were hitting Richard's car and then going over hitting her behind Rich oh right well she tried to then force me off the road yeah. and I have to just say like this was not my car to be forcing off the road so I soon panicked and then out of nowhere this <laughs> matte black slammed a polo van on some rotors i can't remember what rotors they were some no they were they were they were rotors they were definitely oh, rotors they were yeah they were rotors and he went past he, he went past and then you've got out of the window and you're launching <laughs> relentless cans at this woman who's trying to rouse up the road with her kids shitting oh, herself so, i mean we sound like right little Fucking horrible bastard. I mean, this did, was like 11 years ago. Yeah, I should point that out. Like 12 years ago. We've, we've done, done some, some bad things. <laughs> 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 that was before the internet, so let's keep yeah. the rest of it off the internet. Yeah. Why is this making so much noise? Fuck's sake. So hopefully we can... Uh, Sully texting me, being off wheels, yeah. fine, being rude. But, um... Tosser. What oh, tosser. But yeah, we've had some good times. What other shows have we been to that have been really funny? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh, that room at Ultimate Dubs. <laughs> oh, you got let's not say any more about that because I've got to stand at a hotel soon but yeah that was funny uh, mm. but yeah we've had some good times shows it was, it's better now you've got your own car to take to yeah, shows yeah. Um, I do miss the company sometimes not gonna lie the van is very quiet if I have to take <laughs> that up but um, I've took you drifting before I've had a question I'll, go, I'll dive into a question now because it kind of works with, along with this and it was let me find it uh, carry on talking real quick just say something. Oh, about, about what though? I don't know. Is it a drifting question? It will be a drifting question, yeah. Oh, fucking gay. Why is it gay? I love drifting. Let's go sideways. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you... <laughs> what? what? Okay, the question is from dye underscore ginge. D-A-I. Not dye, not dye ginge. Well, like, like hair dye. dye. Dye written on your shirt dye. Oh, right. Um, will Peck get into drifting? And why is he so fucking cool? I can answer the second bit. He's not. You don't have to spend any time in real life well, with him. You only lie, get to see I them. Cool. I just make you look good online. You don't need to make me look good because I, I am do. Good. It takes a long time, man. <laughs> Whenever you're in a video, it takes me triple the time to edit. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, will you ever get into drifting, Tom Peck? Drifting, I, I mean, mm, I like being a passenger. And I, and I like the I like the thrill of being complete out of control in a like in a passenger seat. But I think from going from my Civic and being in full control and having full grip to going to a car where it's fully out of control with no grip. No, no, you do. You have... Yeah, but you know I mean, like you're like you. You're, the, the aim of the game is to slide out and go sideways. Just get the car sideways and then carry the grip. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I mean, like really, like. Whenever I've spun out in the Civic, I've fucking shit my pants. Yeah, but you're on a front wheel drive. Yeah, I know that. Back. I know, Not... I know that. But like, I think the the thrill of going sideways is good when I'm doing it with someone that can actually do it, than me having to learn to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you kept your E36, I would have tried it, but I'm yeah. not. Going to Sylvia, fuck that. I'm not going to let you go. Well, no, I, even if you said, here you go, here's the fucking kids, I'd be like, absolutely fucking not. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Don't. <laughs> do that. But um, I think. But drifting, <clears throat> drifting, like, drifting is cool. I like watching it. I like being there and experiencing, like, the. The because I can't say everyone's very nice when you go. It's like, same with everyone when you when you're into like a hobby or whatever. Everyone's very nice when you go to it. But I think for me, I prefer to be in the passenger seat. Just be a part of it. Instead yeah, of actually doing yeah. It. Like I mean, it's probably just fucking expensive as well, isn't it? If not, well, you've seen me. Have like yeah. a borderline mental yeah. breakdown. Midlife crisis car. I'm like 13, 14 months into this car and I'm still <laughs> spending like thousands of pounds yeah. every month trying to maintain it. But it's good. Well, well, you say you maintain it, even get it to a standard where you can then maintain it. Mm. Don't make me cry. This is my podcast. Don't, don't come on here and make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> but we fit my new wheels tonight. Yeah, it looks I sick. need to pay Tom, but... Dad, don't bother. Nah, should I not? Was it, what was it? 750? Seven. Seven, 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 should I send him 700? <laughs> But I've bought some new wheels tonight, and they're really, really nice. They look really good on my car. Um, 
But I can understand where you're coming from with the not wanting to be a driver and you mm. want to just kind of... But I think it's hard. I think it's getting harder to get into drifting because unless you're going to do street over, mm. to get on a drift day, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's like, busy. Isn't it? And especially where we live, down south, we've mm. got nothing really, especially after Rockingham yeah. goes. So we'll just have to wait and see how that pans out. Um, I've got faith, like I said, in sweeps that something will get sorted, but we'll just have to keep our uh, fingers crossed for that. Um, right, so if you were getting a drift, you know, what car would you want? I'd just get it like an MX-5 or E30. I mean, MX-5 would probably be a no-go because I probably can't get in it. <laughs> but I think, like, something cheap, because if you do hit a wall... At Tom underscore. <laughs> it's cheap. Parts are cheap. Yeah. Like, because if you had your Sylvia and you hit a wall, parts are hard to come by or expensive. And I can't be asked for that shit. Mm. Like, if you bend an E36, you can get another one for a thousand pounds. Well, I say a thousand pounds, maybe even more. You get a decent one for a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's what I mean. So like, like, with a crap engine. Yeah. yeah. But if you if you crash your car bad, then it's 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 a no go, isn't it? Pretty much. I like. mean, if I was to crash my Sylvia, and there's me being brutally honest, I'd try and look for an S14 shell. Oh, I'd put everything, straight, put everything into straight into it. Yeah. S14. I'd look for an S14 automatic that's in clean condition, mm. and because my core levels will fit. Supra. No, because like with the S14, all of my car will literally fit mm. straight on. So we could literally go to the garage for a full weekend, and that whole crate of monster. Out. And just cr- literally crush the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, where are you getting more, more monster? I haven't asked for any. I haven't. I've still well, got loads left. So I, don't, I don't. I don't want to take the piss with them. You know. I, you know. I appreciate them sending me stuff when they do. So gotta keep hydrated. <laughs> but um, on to the next question, which is from I should have noted that down. Really, uh, Jake Fitness. Okay. Bet he loves to lift weights. Maybe run. Maybe a little bit of push biking. Maybe the rowing machine. Let me see him. I don't know. It's a little tiny. He's got a girlfriend, though. He's doing better than I am. Um, it says, Peck's future car plans. So, what are your future plans if you're not looking to get into drifting? Because, obviously, we need to just fill you in real quick. Peck, does, Peck is a dad. So, he has to have a sensible family whip for mm. little Lucas. I've got, I've got the Jag, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, you can't sell that no. and then, you know, get some. Well, I want to buy the Legend. Yeah, well, I mean, oh. if you come at me with cash, man, I'm not going to let you just take it. Like, well, I don't let you know it. I need money desperately right now, <laughs> but um, but yeah, especially if my car's chucking oil out of the exhaust pipe. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Fuck it! Out. They're just pound coins, not yeah. oil. But um, yeah, what 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 are you thinking? Well, I want to cam it. I think. Hey, wait, tell people oh. what it is. What it is? Your car? Well, you got to tell him what I want. If you, you, you he, he's talking about his EP3 right now. He, I was thinking like, just fucking carry on, mate. You're a dickhead. Well, I want to put cams in it. Obviously, valves. Okay. With springs, retainer, that kind of stuff. Don't want to go the force induction route because it seems like a fucking pain in the ass, mm. and it's a lot of money, mm. and I don't want to blow another engine up. Mm. <clears throat> so I think if you go for like reliable power, which is not forced, then I think that's probably the way to go. I think you should tell her. Yeah, I, but I, I don't want to spend five. <laughs> yeah, it do sound sick. George said I can drive his, so that might be the decider. Mm. It'd be sick. I love Taylor Hondas. Yeah, I know, but yeah, they do sound sick. I mean, I mean, actually saying that, I reckon another 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 person that probably got me into a Type R was probably Anton. Oh, mate, well, and it's, that supercharged one. Who was with one. me? Was it half? I yeah, that supercharged one out. Oh was my god! It like, god. It was like one forty down. Down the slip that. Road. Down the, no, yeah. no, no. Down that road runs up beside Tollgate. Yeah, and I went past a jogger, didn't I? And he shit his <laughs> fucking mm. pants, but oh, fuck me, that car was so fast. I have to just say again, I was about eighteen. I think yeah. I'm outside the le- the limit of being able to get done for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh well. They, well, they can't catch proof. it. Mike Chan shit. So we, we, could be, we could we could be lying. This could just be for the internet. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So if you were after the EP3, or are you going to keep the EP3 forever? Like, what are you thinking? I mean. I have no reason to get rid of... Oh, I say, I have no reason for it. Kay fucking hates it. <laughs> Kaylee is his baby mum. Yeah. She hates it because it's loud. It's it's bad for your back. It, <laughs> like, it's just, it's just like, it's, it's awful being inside there. Like, but but at the same time, when you overtake, like, six cars on a straight, you, you wonder why you get in it and you do love it. But... Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't know. Force induction sounds cool and all, but like it is a lot of work, which I haven't really got the mechanical knowledge for, and I don't want to pay someone for it. But I mean, cams, etc. Just watch a YouTube video. If it goes bang, goes bang. (laughs) 
Yeah, great beer. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Big, yeah, big one for the channel, wouldn't it? Mm. Where's that? Key turn. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think like cams, springs, retainers, all that shit. Um, I want to get rid of my Teguar intake, air intake, because it looks fucking ugly. I and, like it. Yeah, but good, I've got a to the point where I've like started like blanking pipes off. Hiding wires, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, just, I just want to be able to open that bonnet and just be an engine, not ABS, <laughs> all these shitty pipes. Do you know what I mean? I want like a velocity stack on the end. In, in the, I mean, I just I would love throttle bodies personally, yeah, but they're what they're like 1500 quid, which is disgusting. So, if anyone wants some, anyone wants a RBC intake manifold, swap for the throttle bodies, <laughs> hit up at yeah. Tom <laughs> because <laughs> Martin's you know Martin Zach's friend he's got yeah. that K20 coupe and that sounds fucking insane yeah it does sound salty wouldn't know he unfollowed me on Instagram ooh salty yeah I don't know why not I mean I can't, I can't I can understand why it's your fucking Shut the fuck. asshole. oh he's bought a Nissan now he hates Hondas <laughs> <laughs> well I mean that is true some guy called Peter Collins 975 has asked both of us mm. either of you I'm assuming he's Irish yeah either of you gonna buy a VR6 Bora or Golf be pure hatchet, Lord. So <laughs> fucking, lutely not. I couldn't personally think of a worse. I'm gonna car. get a 15 year old girlfriend and send, sell hash out of my fucking boot at fucking McDonald's as well. I couldn't think of a fucking worse car. Aren't they V5s? I don't think they're V6s, are they? What's that? The Bora and Golf. Yeah, they're V5s. Didn't, didn't Jake have one? Yeah, fucking. He's just diesels. Fucking pony. <laughs> They are awful fucking cars. They're not. They're actually as a car. Come right, on. listen, listen, listen. As a car, as a car if you're if you're mate, if you're if you're delivering pizzas, great car. <laughs> right, yeah. In a, in the modified world, if you own a Bora, you look like a peasant. <laughs> well, they're good cars. Yeah, for the, av- like, the average day. For an everyday car. Yeah. I would have one if if they were anything full of shit. You wouldn't you wouldn't buy a Bora and lower it and think that's sick. I don't know if it had like nice wheels on it. It might be like, Oof. get out. Jake's used to look good on the it, Corvette. Yes, it did. On yeah, the Corvette, it wheels, that fire to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a joke. <laughs> um, right, let's move on to another car-related question because we're on Carmel's podcast. How long have we been going for? Uh, about twenty minutes, twenty-five oh, minutes. I think forty minutes of shit. No, we can stop whatever. I oh, fuck that. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Jay Barrel, spelled with three R's and two L's, has asked five cars for life. Three can be modified, but two have to stay bone stock. What are you choosing? I'd have five F40s. <laughs> <laughs> Just three modified and two bad. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. That's not a bad That would be a sick garage. Yeah. Ima- imagine five Ferrari F40s yeah. around my house. That would be But I'd, just have a, I'd, I'd get like a red one, a white one, a yellow one, a blue, blue one. one. And prob- I'd probably get a black one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> <Like> it. <laughs> I'd get... Um, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Really? Yeah. One or three? I think the GT2 looks so fucking really? sick. Really? Yeah. Um, are, they, are they the ones with the... Like the, the ones that are on Forza. You yeah. Know, like yeah. the grey ones on Forza. Oh, mate. They're mm. fucking sexual looking cars. And they're insane. And like, I'd have one in a heartbeat. Mm. I'd probably also get a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. <laughs> Just <laughs> as my everyday whip. Yeah. You know? <laughs> is that, uh, is that, has that got a big spoiler on it? No, it's like oh. the one up the road. The oh, okay. Since that guy up the road bought one, I just oh. keep looking at it going, should I just sell yeah. everything and buy one of those? Because it's just such a sick car. I don't know. Man, let's take that one out. We're going to go a bit wilder. Pagani's Honda. I don't know Pagani's Honda. Is it F? No, what's know. that new one they've just bought? No, nah, no, I don't like the Hirai up, no? whatever it's called. I like the Zonda. The, the Zonda, it's got to be a Zonda. It's got to be bright yellow or orange or lime <laughs> green or something, you know. Yeah, just full carbon. No, it's got to be a Larry colour. Really? Mm. Yeah, uh, Ferrari F40 for me as well. Mm. I think I think I even said that to a girl I was talking to. I said she was like, "What did you do if you won the lottery?" And the first thing that came out of my mouth, instead of thinking of something cool, I'd buy a Ferrari F40. Mm. And I was like, she, she was like, "Oh, what's one of them like?" Like I was like, "Fuck, I yeah. should have just said travel the world or something." Yeah. <laughs> I travel the world and had <laughs> a camo and take a <laughs> selfie in the like, Maldives. I think in all seriousness, I think I'd have I'd have an F40 definitely. I think you'd have to. You can't have a dream car and not have an F40. Dream garage for that an yeah. F40. Is it really a dream garage? I'd have a, I'd have a Ferrari California. Can you imagine walking into like, Ugh, what yeah. the fuck? What's wrong with yeah. you? Get out. <laughs> We're cutting this off. Should we call this fucking lame mug podcast? <laughs> Ferrari California. Yeah, I think they're nice. I like, I like the, oh, the back planet? of them. Uh, mate, 
It's oh, it's your green garage. You yeah. can have a California in there. Oh, I would yeah. definitely be walking in and gagging every time I see the California. <laughs> I think I'd have a Range Rover SVR. I'm going to have one of those yeah. as well. <laughs> I'd also probably have... That would a... be my day-to-day car that I wouldn't modify. I'd, I'd have, have, what, I'd, have I'd have a Mercedes... Um, what's, what's the big one? The big one? My dad's got yeah, one. GL. That? Yeah, GL55. I'd have one of them. 63. Get the 63. Oh, the 63. Well, yeah, I'd have one of them. And I think probably... <clears throat> what else? I mean, I think I'd just... I'd, I'd still keep my Civic, I think. Oh, a million percent. My Nissan's in there. Yeah, exactly. I, I, my it, Nissan's one of the three I can modify. So what we yeah. at now for you? You've got SVR Range Rover. Is that mm-hmm. a modifier or standard? That'll be standard because they're fucking rapid. Rapid anyway. as fuck. Do you know my Nissan can, can I race one in my Nissan? Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> Didn't get away, did he? Bitch. <laughs> Push. <laughs> How's your 90 grand car, mate? <laughs> You'll be a fucking 90 grand car soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got that a Ferrari F40 standing or modified I would keep it standard so you've got three modified cars left yep. your Civic's in there yep, modified. you've got two modified cars left so what was what was, what was another one? I oh. oh I don't know uh, I'd probably have um I'd have, I'd have something for K. oh Ferrari California oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd, <laughs> and then I'd have a, I'd, I'd have a K for, I'd have a car for Lucas obviously when he's well that's five then yeah so then I'd just, I'd just have like you, the SVR surely the car for Lucas. No, as in for him to like something small, oh, to modify. so he can EK9. he can like learn and EK9. yeah, something like that. He can an EK nine or a DC two. Do you know what? Or... I'm gonna I'm gonna step in because if I had a kid, there's no fucking way they'd be getting a tin can like that. Mate, they're getting a Peugeot 108 <laughs> five star safety well, rated. One, fucking, looks like a I don't one. give a shit. As long as it's got five star safety <laughs> rated, that's what they're fucking just getting. Get, just get my, do you want to know my plan? My, my actual plan is when I have kids. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy them something shit for their car. Like they're gonna have something so safe and boring. They'll be one of them cars that their friends are gonna literally bully them for. But <coughs> I'm gonna have in the garage a car that they're gonna choose. Yeah. That will be a Sylvia, a Civic, a, whatever money we can realistically justify on a on a car. Even if I have to sell one of my own or give them one of mine, mm. where it'll be their track car or their drift car or yeah. something that they don't get to use on the road, but something they can do whatever they want yeah. to and use it however they want. That is genuinely what I plan on doing. Yeah. Because if I, when I was a kid, I was so obsessed with it. Why did you do that in front of the microphone? Just you could have done that anywhere else, but you decided, don't, man. <laughs> oh, headphone users, <laughs> Um Yeah, I, plan, I just imagine if I was, when I was a kid, I was so obsessed with the image of owning a cool car. Mm. I remember going up to KFC in Ipswich one day, driving around it, and uh, some guy go, I was felt the king. I had my car lowered, I'm tying suspension, I had them white wheels, them Lenzo white wheels on it. It looked yeah. gangster. Driving around, and this guy went, shame it's not a Type R. And that hurt my soul. Mm. I was like crushed. Yeah. And ever since then, I was like, yes, yeah, fucking shit. It's not a Type R, isn't it? And I was like, I had that horrible yeah. opinion. I just love my kids to be driving around and they're like, oh, it's not a GTI. They'd be like, yeah, but I've got a fucking 500 horsepower yeah. SR yeah. drift car in the garage, mate. Yeah. What, do you, what do you drive? A fucking pony. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, a fucking Mondeo yeah. ST. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Well done, mate. But I had, I'm like, like say in Ipswich, when you, when you drove in Ipswich, a couple of days ago, I had some guy in a. It's like a rover, like a like one of those MG. Oh yeah, the ZR. Thing. Yeah, and he pulled up beside me. I was, I was like, <laughs> here we go. And he had his missus, like his fat old missus, in the in the passenger seat, and like I love her. she's looking at my car and she's like giving her boyfriend shit. And I was like, oh, this is it. <laughs> and he was revving it, and I was like, for fuck's sake. And he he put his foot down, and I was like, nah. <laughs> 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 shit, <laughs> just shot past like a fucking missile. I have to give you credit, man. Your your EP3 is a fucking fast EP3. Like, I don't I, know what what's done to that engine, but it is. Just keep fast. blanking off stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go faster. Yeah, yeah. Does it still work? Yeah. And then I pull up, pull up to the next set of traffic lights, and she was shouting at him, saying his car was shit. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. That probably that was, that was a good moment. So you still got one car left? You haven't chose yet. I think I would. Unless you, hang on, wait. So you've got your SVR, yeah. your F40. Your what else did you say? California. <laughs> and then you've got my Civic again. Your Civic. Do, I, that's, Civic's not really. It. No, that's in the five car garage. Mate. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, SVR, mm-hmm. California, F forty, mm-hmm. Civic, mm-hmm. and then I probably, I think I probably have like a Lamborghini um, Gallardo. Is it a Gallardo or the really old one with the, with the, with the wing doors? Oh, Diablo. Diablo. I said I'd have a Diablo. Yeah. Um... In yellow. 
Yeah, you've nicked one of my cards. Oh, really? Yeah, you <laughs> fucking piece only of shit. Only Did you look at my Twitter the other day? Because <laughs> I literally <laughs> shared it on Twitter. Oh, really? I'm not even joking. A well, yellow, yellow SB. <laughs> a yellow fucking SB, really? yeah. Because well, I remember uh, my dad had, in his in his mum and dad's house, he had a... Like a he had a, he had a Lamborghini Diablo poster on the wall. Mm-hmm. Had Look like, at that! Look! Oh yeah. The Lambo would buy if I was in the position to. <laughs> Diablo is me and yellow, you fucker! <laughs> Right, I'll delete that one out of my garage. We can't have matching garages because that'd be lame. We've yeah. both got an F40 already. But I'd, yeah, because Dad had a poster in his bedroom and it was, uh, it was a Diablo, but in like a police livery oh, right, with two yeah. girls in it. I was like, Ooh. that's a cool car. And so, yeah, <laughs> that police car's got bits. Yeah, yeah. Probably written off now. <laughs> turn into Probably rusted to stuff. death. Yeah. Do you want to know mine? Go on then. So we've got the Ferrari F40. Yeah. I'm going to restart because I don't want the Zonda anymore. Mm. So. What? Ferrari F40. Yeah. I'd keep it original. Yeah. You'd have I, to. I, I, I just want a red one. Mm-hmm. OEM with like 1,000 miles on it. And I want the right-hand drive one that that shake in Dubai or whatever it was mm. on an Arab country zoned. He had it and it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever mm. seen. And then I would have, or let me think sensibly, my Sylvia. Mm-hmm. There's not a garage. No, I wouldn't say sen- uh, sensible, is it? I don't want it to be sensible. That's my, one of my modified cars. Okay. And then I would go for... My M3, I wouldn't get rid of it. I'd keep my M3 because I think it's a fantastic car, but I would modify it. Mm-hmm. So that'd be another badass mm-hmm. race car, basically. A Nurburg weapon. A Nurburg weapon. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then I would probably go for. Uh, what 4 by 4 would I get? SVR. I'd probably go for one of them like, Range Rover ones that looks like the Canyonero from The Simpsons. No, not Range Rover, the Rolls Royce. Just because it's a fucking oh, yeah. Rolls nice, Royce. Though. It's They're a nice. fucking Rolls Royce. Yeah. I'm going to get the Rolls Royce. So which leaves me for one car left. And it's going to be one that I have to modify. So this is my forever garage, right? I can't mm-hmm. ever have anything else. Am I right in saying that? I can't ever have anything else. I, mean, I can modify it. I'd get Dodge Viper. Really? Dodge Viper GTS. Blue with the white stripes. That's what I'd go for. Is that the one that used to be the down down tree behind the doctors? Uh, Remember that? No, he used to live up. Um, there was one one guy that had one near the old golf range yeah. in Colchester. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Tucked he, away. We we stopped one day, and I we were looking up the driveway because it was. I was just having a right moment. I was mm. like, "This is the best thing I've ever." Mm. As a kid, that was my dream. Car. Yeah. And I was like, "That's the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life." And he come running out, thinking we were trying to nick it. <laughs> my dad was like, "No, no, no. We just we're just looking at it, man, because he loves these cars. He just loves these cars." So that'd be my my garage. It'd be Dodge Viper. These are the modified cars. Dodge Viper, Sylvia, M3. I've already got two of them, so that's pretty good going, mm. right? Then I've got the Rolls Royce 4x4, which I'd tow my drift car with. <laughs> and then uh, I'd have a Viper. So that's my five-car garage. Did I say the guy's name with that one? I did, didn't uh, I? I think pass. I did. Let me check. Yeah, um, so that, was that Jake uh, Fitness? Was it Jake Fitness? I think so. Might have been. No, that was the future car plans. Oh, right. Uh, um, where's it I've lost it. Some guys ask how big your knob is. Gigantic. That was Jay Barrel. I have said his name. Gigantic. Oh, no, that was Joe. Joe, Joe Judders has asked how big your knob is. Just send him a picture on Snapchat later. It's about as big as your forehead. <laughs> Fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> right, if we were to share... This is Ant underscore Gibbons. If you were to share a project car, what would you choose and what would you use it for? Oh, this could end in a fight. <laughs> well, it's going to have to be something we can do both in, isn't it? Is it, is it me and you sharing a car? Yeah. It's going to be something you can do both in, isn't it? What, drifting on track days? Yeah. So it's going to have to, be, it's going to be something like an Evo or something. How can I drift an Evo? Power slides, man. Wait, fuck off. We're not sharing a fucking okay, Evo. Okay, Supra then. We could do Supra. Yeah. Because that can drift and do tr- fucking mm, everything. Good track days and straight line. And we can have it at like 1800 horsepower. <laughs> I'd literally want it to be like one of those like Supras that... Lambos, like you know, like what I call like the Ponzi rich kids and their Lambos that don't actually know mm. what the Lamborghinis are. They just got one because they're because the latest accessory. Money, yeah. Like they pull them up next to you at the light. You know the old Fast and the Furious, like hey, <laughs> hey, how does it go again? Like hey, what's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, pal. <laughs> I just love that. And yeah. then like, but like eighteen hundred brake, yeah. pure old turd Japanese I, smoke. I, I would still there. pull away like you're about to stall as well. <laughs> 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 I just want to go. I just want to go through London in it and yeah. just be that, you know, that one guy doing big rolling burnouts. <laughs> Piston heads forum would not like that yeah. at all. <laughs> but there yeah, we go. We've actually come. To a, that was yeah. way quicker. I thought we were going to be arguing yeah, about that phrase. Because Super's my dream car. That's not my dream garage. Not in your dream garage. Fuck. You can't take it back. 
Shit. You can replace that fucking crap Ferrari. Yeah, okay, I'll take the Ferrari. That. I'll take the California back for the Super. Why would you have a California Ferrari? They look nice. They don't look nice. They look cool from the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like saying, what's your dream girl? And you'd be like, oh, this tranny I saw the other week. Like, what? <laughs> I said dream girl. I know, but I know they're technically the our best women, of but, but it looked good from the back, innit? it? <laughs> Get your best mate out of shag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, what was your first ever car, Tom Peck? And who asked me that? Mark to Joel. Surely everyone's seen that, man. Surely. Just tell him. He hasn't. It he was a like Honda. Fun. EG 1.3 DX. It was tight. It was the fucking biggest bag of shit in the world. And I sold him it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what, like t- two miles down the road, the cam belt exploded. Yeah, and then we had to deal with that fucking mm. prick who oh, worked oh. for the uh, the AA. Oh my god, should we tell him this? Because yeah. I I almost had a fight on the side of the road, <laughs> man. Like I don't. I am normally so relaxed. Don't say that. You're fucking lying. Uh, in situations, man, I I am good at dealing with a situation, right? I get angry in my private time and on my own, I get really fucking irate. But I deal with situations, right? Yeah, is that fair to say? Yeah. I'm good at dealing with situations. Right, so you've your car's broke down. Yeah. I've got an AA gold card. So I was like, right, let's fucking go out and sort this shit out. We've gone out there and we ring the AA because we couldn't work, make it work. And what is, what's, what's the technical term for that engine? Like where, with a camera non, Non-interference. Yeah, non-interference. So like, <coughs> the engine was going to be fine, it just needed a cam belt, right? Mm. And uh, the geezer, like, he said, What's wrong with it? He turned up, this fucking short little fucking ginger prick, turned up, and he goes, uh, So, what's wrong with it then? And I was like, I don't know, mate. That's why we called you out. And he was like, He didn't say a word, did he? He no. just looked at me. He's just an arsehole. He just looked at me and walked up mm. and went, Is this a fucking joke? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, fucking cam belt snap. The car's fucked. And I was like, sorry, mate. The reason I called you out is because I'm not a fucking mechanic. You fucking dick. And he was, I was like, oh, we need it taken back to my yard. And he was like, I'll take you up the road to McDonald's. Didn't he? Yeah. And I was like, what a giant fucking bag of Only shit. Only because he was finishing it in that yeah, half hour. Yeah, I'm a gold fucking mm. member, man. The amount of money we pay for that shit. Mm. So we made a complaint about him. I actually complained. I rarely fucking put formal complaints in. I haven't even complained about PC Dickhead. But, <laughs> tempted to. But I'm not going to. Probably not get anywhere, will you? Not at all. And then if he sees me again, he's just going to fucking give me grief. Right. Right. GVZ 8, 1985 was asked, where has he been? Like, what's it being friends? What's your favourite car zone? So let's start again. What, where have you been? Well, you've had a baby. Yeah, just being... Being a dad. Yeah, and working. And working. A you, lot. You work as a chef, so you've got and quite solid hours on that. Solid hours. What's it like being friends? Probably it's alright, isn't it? Testing at times. I mean... It... You are fucking lazy. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Am I? Am I? Are you sure? <laughs> you can't. Am I? No. But no, it's good. Am I lazy? You no, fucking no, piece no. of shit. <laughs> Well, I'll remember oh, that you... next time your piece of shit Civic breaks oh, down you need you, the trailer um, brought out to you, you can you just watch it where I jack it up you joking me huh you did I well I was trying to jack the car up why do I need to watch you jack it up it's something you learn when you're like 14 how to jack a car up oh, this is the guy that can barely fucking do anything on his own are you joking mate <laughs> I've literally been self teaching myself over the last year because all of my friends got girlfriends so I've had to no they it. have not Pete Will yeah, true. you does. I'm always here if you fucking need me, you fucker. Am I? Are you? Oh, yeah. I need to check with Kaylee. Well, yeah, it's always... I've got to look after this baby. <laughs> it's always good to rain check. Um, so what's it like being friends? For me, it's actually pretty good now. He used to be a horrible, lazy... I'm saying lazy as well because you never get your driving license. <laughs> that's my excuse. Piece of shit. But we've had some good times. We've had some bad times. We've had some times we can't mention. <laughs> You've seen me at almost every point of humanity. <laughs> Yeah. Literally, like, 3am sofas, girl. Really high. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I hope my parents never listen to that. That time I couldn't get out of the sofa. The funniest one was when you were like, what? put your head on, on the that cold tap. tap for like three hours. Oh my was, god. It, 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 I was gone a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> it, oh, fuck it, man. 21st century. <sighs> it's legal in America Small now. Weed every day. <laughs> well, not every day. I'm <laughs> and what's your favourite car you've owned? I'm assuming it's going to be the EG Civic. 
My favourite car. EP Civic, sorry. Um, for for like everyday driving, the Jag is definitely the f- my favourite car I've owned. Mm-hmm. But for f- like thrill factor, it's a Civic, definitely. But I enjoyed ha- when you when I built my Civic up, and you let me borrow the Legend for that week. Mm-hmm. That was cool. I like that. See, that's a good friend, right? Mm, yeah. I lent you a fucking car. Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> yeah, you did. You actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, sorted your right out. <laughs> Um, which I'm also going to buy soon <laughs> look you know how much money I want for it I want yeah. two and a half thousand pounds yeah don't say that because someone else will buy it <laughs> or is that just a price to me that's a price to you yeah. it'd be three two fifty to anybody else fuck off I'm buying that fucking car <laughs> I, I, I think I could only sell it to you Good. because like I'd need to see it still because I don't even know if I can sell it yet I think, I think we're at that point where you might get the money together and I'll be like eh, nah. it, if I wave two and a half grand I'll stay with it together so I don't come apart <laughs> and I'll throw it you, you'll snap <laughs> Oh, Two and a half grand, mate. That can that shit. could sort this. That could possibly fix the silver for forever. I'll tell you what, it would do. Put a roll cage in it. True. I'll put a roll. You, you could do a roll oh, cage. No, that's, that's what I'm actually aiming towards. Yeah. I'm actually. That's why I've kept the sack side so I can weld that mm. up and practice a roll cage on it. Wait, all you need is bar and, and, and a good angle, a good cutter. I've got a good a angle. Pipe. I've got a good grinder. Mm. Um, should I answer that as well? My favorite car. Yeah. Because I've had a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a lot of cars. What would you say my favourite? What, what is your favourite car that I've owned? There's two. Go on then. It would be the Legend and the FN. Really? The Orange yeah. FN? Yeah. Because it, really, it was one of the first lowered in the country. In the country. Yeah, I think it was the first. And it was fully colour coded as well. It looked gangster. And everything in it had a proper good sound system as well. Mm. That was. That like... was a... The problem was with that is I was, once again, too young to ensure a Type R. Mm. And I was earning good money working at Honda, man. I was, I was earning real strong money. And then mm. I, I left and worked for my old man, didn't I? And like mm. started up my own first business. And, yeah. that. and like I was doing well. So I had the money to play with it, but I just could not afford the four grand insurance yeah. that Type R was. So I was just like, well, fuck it. And that car was cool, but the problem was I never appreciated it until it was gone. And then mm. I was like, fuck, that was such a good car. What, what coil was it on? BC? Uh, KW. KW. Mm. So I was on good coil yeah. as well. Like, a beautiful car. Um... I'm surprised you said that. Of all the cars, the DT5 and everything. Yeah, no, but they're like now I've got a Type R, like, and it, mine's got to a standard where it's now pretty much neck and neck, or if not a bit faster than DT5. Not really mm. like a like a fun car to go against now, if you know what I'm saying. Because I've no, pretty much got one. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But like, I think for overall, because obviously, like the things we experienced in the FN were, were funny, and the like, like the last we've had in the Legend as well, like when we drove up to see. Um, Bocca and Tom. Yeah, that, that that was that was good. Like you know, all, the, all that scenery and that stuff. It was good. Like so, from for like the the legend is a fucking. Oh, it's the cool ultimate car. cruiser, isn't it's it? A fucking like, cool car. Yeah. Like oh, the the time when we had me, you, Rich in the back, and we were passing stuff to that guy. <laughs> Remember, don't part- say any more about right. that but yeah we, 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 we were passing cookies while yeah, driving yeah 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 that was funny man. that was so random that was like, good. Oh, do you want a cookie <laughs> yeah <laughs> just like, doing like, do, like- I'll tell you what that car has been the best bang for buck car I've ever yeah, bought in my definitely. entire life that and you have so a spare as well and I've got a spare one so if anything does go wrong you know I've got it there sort out I have a spare one you'll need to get that out of the yard, the yard though yeah you've got a trailer mate <laughs> I'll charge her. <laughs> you fucking won't. <laughs> um, <coughs> what's been my favourite car? I'll be, I'm going to be completely completely honest. I've never loved a car like I have my Nissan. Mm. I know it doesn't run right, but I think that's part of the, the uh, romance the hate, about the, it. The love-hate relationship. I think it's the it? constant chase that this mm. car, when it's going to be finished, finished, it's I could end up in like a 450 brake, mm. fully specced up <laughs> drift car. Um, mm. And I don't think I've ever loved a hobby as much as drifting, mm. even skateboarding and all that sort of stuff. Like I used to be obsessed with skateboarding, but now like drifting is just the and quadding, right? Kind of quad stuff. bike. I was good at quad biking as mm. well, man. Like I, I used to really enjoy that, but drifting has captivated every part of me, and I love it. Mm. And I don't, I, I just adore it. I, I think the Nissan is one of, if not my favorite cars, along with the M3. Yeah. Because whenever I drive the M3, oh, I just feel special. Like, yeah. I see it, you know, and I'm looking in like, you know when you stop at lights and you see a window and you look at yourself in the window, yeah. I'm like, I cannot believe I own that own car. That car yeah. like, and I, but I get that and same feeling out of the Nissan. It is such a nice car to be in as well. The M3 is fast, it's wicked it to drive. It sounds sick as well. sounds amazing. Um, so yeah, um, I, I really, really, really like that as well. Um, so the Silvio is your favourite car? Silvia, I'm allowed to say a couple. Like, have yeah. I got to have a, one yeah. The Silvia, the M3, that black DC5, 
purely because I didn't own it for very long, only a year, because obviously I got in a lot of trouble with it, because I was a fucking nightmare <laughs> child, like, I went through like stages, as a kid I was like a proper goody two shoes, mummy's boy, and then I got into skateboarding and turned into fucking Bam Margera from Essex <laughs> and become an absolute reckless yob until I was like 23 when I got with the ex-girlfriend. Mm. And then she just sucked all the fun out of me. <laughs> and I've become this broken mess of a man <laughs> that went through therapy for a year. <laughs> and now I'm back to being the Bam Margera yob again. And it's brilliant. But uh, yeah, I loved that DC5. That was so much fun. But I, I didn't like the person I was back then. Like, yeah. I, I can remember, I look back on it now with not fond memories of who I was back then. Mm. Um, for the most part. But remember, that was the first car you ever drove when we shot Take Boy's car. Yeah. I let you have a go. I let you drive it, didn't I? Because I needed Second to get the rolling gear, shots. boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd say the DC5 purely because it was my first fast t- car. My first brand car, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. It was a Type R. And that car was like the one I really started 621 with. Mm. I was doing 621 with the orange car, but that was when it really stepped up a notch. Yeah. And I started going all over and earning real money. Going to Mims it. when it actually was in the... No, nah, we're not saying that name. Um... <laughs> <laughs> No advertisements unless you want me, want to pay, boys. But <clears throat> we, uh, yeah, that that going all over the place and doing a load of photo shoots for magazines and stuff was wicked. Um, it really was. It was wicked. I loved that. And then in between that, obviously I had the three GTZ that I think I'd do better off with now. That was shit. It was shit at the time because I didn't want it. Mm. I bought it for the wrong reasons and I just didn't want to learn drifting. I just wanted to be good at it straight away and I mm. wasn't and you know carried on. You bought the wrong car <laughs> to, to learn it personally. I, I should have just got an E36, but mm. I'd, I'd also say that E36 was one of my favourite cars mm. as well. I've got loads of favourite cars, like, the legend is in there as well. I think you you buy a car because you like the car, so yeah, it, like, it would I, become your favourite If I was to only have one genuinely for the rest of my life, I'd probably pick the M3, yeah. thinking about it, because that car will be timeless forever. Yeah. In 80 years, that will still be it'll fucking still like cool. It'll still look, still look like a brand new car as well. It would still be cool, you know, yeah. like, the Nissan will still be cool to a group of people. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'd, personally, I'd, I'm hoping to keep that forever. Mm. Unless situations change and I need to get rid of it. But yeah. I love that car. I love everything about it. I love that I can express myself with it. Like, mm. with the mixed match harnesses and the Dalmatian interiors. Yeah. And I can just be like, because to me, it's not an expensive car mm. now. Like, the M3 is an expensive car because it, it cost me three times what the... Mm. Three times? Yeah, three times what the Nissan does. Even though I've spent more on the Nissan. Yeah. That's my hobbyist car, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, let's fucking try this and let's try that. What body kit should I get in it? You know, like, whereas the M3, I'm like, I don't need to do anything to it and mm. I'm happy. Yeah. Which is the weirdest feeling ever to have yeah. a car. Yeah, which is perfect straight out of the bag. And look at it and be like, when people are like, you have to mod it, I'm like, I would like to mod it, but I don't need to. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. I think that. I think I'd. I, it's so hard to say between the Nissan and the M3. It's hard to say about, like, modifying cars because when you've, when you've got a car so highly modified and then you go to an, like it's almost like you start you, you, you're like get you're, you're ripping that page out of the book and then just starting a fresh it's again. like starting a new relationship yeah so like i think when you when you when you like when you seriously look at it from like an adult point of view like when you want to buy a house that kind of stuff and you think well i've already got this car so why would i want to get rid of it and start fresh mm. but i mean you know it's all well and good saying that because you you keep putting money into that one car when you think well the problem is I'm like like you're saying I'm never going to get that money back for that Nissan no, I am almost at the price I paid for the M3 yeah. with it now. I'm probably £500 off of it now mm. so that car owes me almost as much as the M3 yeah. does um, and I'm still probably a good five to £6,000 away from it being what I want it to be mm. so that will be a more expensive car than the M3 I'm, no one's going to pay me the money no. for that car it's everyone like, would laugh if I put it up for that yeah, like, right, if right. I put it up for 30 grand, people would be like yeah. what Get out, yeah. man. Whereas with the BMW, in a few years, I'll stick that up for 30 grand because it's a limited edition. Yeah. You know, mm. and, and people won't batter an eye and be like, oh, it's quite expensive for an E92. Yeah, but it's a limited edition. Oh, right, fair enough. Yeah. And it probably, what, it's low miles as well, wasn't it? It's on 37 now. Yeah, so it's not, what, it's not in like... But like, I don't plan on selling it. Once again, that's another yeah. car that I think, like you said about buying a house where you have to reevaluate. I bought my house first. Yeah. I, but I had the Nissan, mm. but I had my first house first. Yeah. And then I sold that and was going through the exchange on this one. And I, I you know, this is a beautiful house. I don't, yeah. I don't need to move out of here for, no. And maybe if I get like, have two kids and maybe yeah. be like, well, maybe we need to get something a bit bigger. But I only got a bird in it. Yeah. So I ain't got to worry about fucking got that Pam- shit. Pamela Henderson. Yeah, Pamela Henderson. She's a <laughs> fan lady. <laughs> right. Uh, should we do another question? Yeah. Uh, where's How Tom Peck? 
Uh, it's we've probably been going for like forty minutes, fifty minutes, I reckon. I don't know. It doesn't really say. Yeah. Where's Tom Peck? Right here. And that was from R fifty six dot James. He's right here, right in front of me. Yeah. I got proof. Something more original next time, no. <laughs> Oh, I don't understand some of these questions, huh? Does Pick still work? 61. No. No, you don't. How do you get in the cars? Does, well, does Peck what? Go go across. Does Peck have a chin? <laughs> That's Freddy. <laughs> Such a prick. <laughs> no, but he certainly's got like four. What's your obtainable dream car? That's a good one. So one car. A, a, do you know what obtainable means? Yeah. You do? Mm-hmm. What does it mean? Well, I don't really know. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I don't, no I, don't, I don't really know. I'm obtainable, like getting, isn't it? It means that it's a car that you might actually be able to get. Like, not like a Ferrari F40, for instance. Yeah. neither of us can afford um, an £800,000 car. I like, think... what car do you look at now and think, I'm going to get that next? Um, Honda Legend. Oh, come on, mate. Dream car, not car that you're going to buy because your mate's built I can't it. Buy, I cool. can't buy my dream car, though, can I? Because I don't think I'll ever get to it. What is it? Supra. You, you could that's an obtainable dream car mate they're 30 grand man. yeah but that's obtainable yeah you're I'm... a good chef if you actually fucking put some work in found Fuck a off. good fucking place to work and get paid proper money like you deserve you could you could put know, money I'm not, away I'm not, every I'm not working in London though fuck that mate Cambridge is not is not far that's fucking big money mm. Chelmsford is up the road there's places that you could earn some serious dollar doing what you want to do but you're comfortable where you are of course you are. You always are. Mm. Well, I'm not. That's why no. I keep fucking starting oh, up yeah, new well, ventures I... and trying new things and trying what work. But yeah. that's, I think that's that, that's that's my personality, though. I'm like that with everything. Yeah. I got comfortable like, with, with the Civic. With, and... with that, like, I have looked into the into the realms of becoming a temp chef. Yeah, which I think you should try. So, obviously, you go restaurant to restaurant and just help. You, you say, like, if someone's on holiday, you, you cover that person. So, a Supra? Holiday. Yeah, I think a Supra. Yeah, like a... Twin turbo, Twin, manual. Uh, no, single turbo. Single turbo. Big single turbo. Big fucking single turbo. With no spoiler. I know people yeah. probably gonna be like wincing at that, but <laughs> I like I like a super without because because the spoiler has the, the like the flick at the end of it, so I think they look smart without a spoiler. So Mate, it's your dream car. You know what you fucking want to it. So yeah, I'd have it black. I won't leave any nasty comments on your Instagram about it. <laughs> yeah, you probably just unfollow me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> yeah. The ban hammers out again. Learn that from Jay and me, mate. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> But yeah, I think it, it. Yeah, it'd be a Supra, I think. Six-speed manual Mark Three, I think it is. Mark Four. Is it Mark Four? Mark Four is the one you like. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. But yeah, keep telling them what you do to it. Yeah, I think I'd just put a huge turbo on it. Something that could suck a baby. Yeah, Mark Four. One of them. Because you, because 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 yeah, well, because yeah, because my dad had a. Is it, is it a Mark Two Supra? The one with the, the little Mark Three. Is it one of these? Yeah. 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 He had, he had a. A black one in twin turbo. That's beast. <laughs> Had the engine like rebuilt loads of times. Oh my good lord! I want that car. Sorry, we're looking at a yellow one that's <laughs> fucked. On Google. That, just, that just needs a good wash. Yeah, that's like the MX-5, mate. It should be a diamond. Oh man, it should diamond as it goes up. <laughs> uh, mine, I think mine, genuinely, legitimately. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get it as well because I'm too far deep with the Nissan. <laughs> but I believe I got mine. And yeah. That's the M3. That mm. was my attainable dream car. And then it kind of stumped me because I was like, the next step up is like the Porsche GT3 or the Porsche, yeah. Porsche GT2R. I don't think I can afford a GT2R, so it'd have to be a GT3 of some some description. A written off one. No, no, no. I think I looked at one. <laughs> I, I actually looked at one um, at that Porsche Open Day, and I was like, how much is this? It was like one hundred and twenty thousand pound. And I was like, I am a long way off of being mm. able to get this. But if I work my fucking but then off, again, if you had all the the money from the EG, the Sylvia, didn't buy the M3. I could have got you it. Could have been close. No, I could have got it. I could have just took a loan and got it for the difference. But I don't want that. I want mm. my cars. I mean, yeah. ideally, if someone would offer me a big chunk of cash for that EG, I'd let that go. Purely because I just don't want it anymore. Mm. Like, I don't want to get rid of it. It's like, too nice to track as well. I'm going to track it, though. I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of that car. <laughs> Mate, fuck it. Everyone says it's too nice to track. Give me some fucking money and don't let me do it then. Mm. That, that's what fucks me off with that car. Everyone's like, yeah. it's too nice to track. Don't take it on track. Well, I don't like taking my cars to car shows. I mm. fucking don't like it. Like, I'll do it occasionally because if it's the Nissan, I like taking that because mm. I couldn't give a shit if someone dislikes that. But if someone, if I've been putting all that time and effort and money in that car, someone's like, well, I would have done this. Oh, you didn't do the interior. <laughs> I'd just be like, fuck off, man. Mm. And then I'm probably going to get into a fight. <laughs> do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. It's just, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Mm. Like, with Instagram, like, a geezer leaving a comment about my lights. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. If you don't mm. like what you fucking see, 
Fucking don't say anything. Did your mum not ever teach you? Have you not got nothing nice to say? Don't say nothing at all? You've got shit parents, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. Do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. Like, the EG, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I've had it for, what, six years? Yeah. And I'm kind of just over it. Like, I look at it and I'm like, I don't want to spend another mm. fucking penny on you. Not because I don't like it. I think it looks sick. When I put it all back together the other day and put the seat in it, I was like, mate, this is like yeah. a 19-year-old me's dream come true. But I'm not yeah. 19 anymore. I'm 29 now. Mm. And I've got an M3 and a Sylvia that's like, probably, let's say Martin, Martin Batty does his work on it. Oof. That yeah. could be like colossal power. Yeah. And that's without even doing any forge work. Man, and I won't go too crazy on it. I don't. I don't think he will leave. He, he want, He's a fucking good dude, man. Mm. Like he is a genius when it comes to Nissans. So I'll leave it with him. And after Dan's done all the work to the engine, and mm. go from there. Can he map anything? Oh, well, he mainly does Nissans. I'm gonna ring him. MB Automotive. He's a fucking legend. He's not. He done bullshit, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. He's not like. He just. I like how straight to the fucking point he is. Mm. And he's like, this is it. This is what's happening. And I love that. Well, you can't ask for better. Yeah. No, definitely not. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it all done and getting it back to him. Um, but I think honestly, I honestly think if I was to be able to buy a car now, it'd be a Porsche GT3 RS or something like that. Just, just look at Lance and his brother's cars, man. Yeah. I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's just the fucking coolest they car. Are cool cars, mate. A race car for the road, mm. made by Porsche. Yeah. And do you know what I love about Porsche? I grew up not liking Porsche. I, I think that's Clarkson's fault because mm. he used to call them Beatles, didn't yeah. he? Like, and I was like, I, but then when I got older and I drove one, I was like, this is the best. I brought, drove a Porsche 911 Turbo. I was like, this is the best car I've ever driven in my mm. fucking life. And uh, I loved it. I was like, this is fucking sick. Mm. And then I was like, um, and then I, as you grow up and you stop giving a shit, you know, you, have you seen an episode of South Park where Stan, I think it is, becomes like cynical as fuck? No. And just, he becomes what I have. Where mm. I'm just like, fucking don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> And, like, I stopped caring about the image or whatever. And I just do whatever I want. Yeah. I see, like, all these Instagrammers and all these fake cunts buying, like, Ferraris and Lamborghinis just to, to be make popular. Happy and stuff, just it? to be popular. Yeah. Like, yeah, look at me. I can afford a Lambo. Yeah. Like, Ferrari getting all, like, celebrities in their cars. I like, you know, oh, you got to have your car in the movies and all that. How often do you see Porsche do that? Mm. You don't. Porsche have just built. The, have you seen Porsche's new car they've built? The 77 on them. Oh, my fucking God. It is the coolest looking, I think it's a 937, I think they call it. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, oh, there it is. Look, right now. 935, sorry. Look at this car, man. It is the most... This is what Porsche do. They don't fuck about. Look, they've built this. There's 77 of them to, re to do their 70... Some fucking anniversary or some shit. I don't know. But it's fucking beautiful. Look at that. It's like a Le Mans car. Look at that. It's one of the old school designs, but a brand new car. And that's cool. what Porsche are doing. They're like, fuck it, let's do that. Mm. And that's why I love them. I fucking like, they're like BMW to me. I love them. I fucking mm. love them. Like, and one day I'll have a Porsche. I honestly believe that. Yeah. And that's my next goal I have to work towards. Cause I'm, except for selling this house and buying a bigger house where I can have my own unit and stuff. Mm. I have no other aspirations in life other than to find a lovely lady to put some seed in and create some mini-me's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be quality, man. <laughs> Fucking cousins for Lucas, isn't it? Especially if you have boys, mate. Oh, 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 you won. Mate, even if I get bur like get girls, I'm gonna let them do whatever they fucking want, mate. Mm. They want to be lesbians, fucking be lesbians. Like I know it's not a choice, but if they want to fucking be a drifter, they can be fucking drifters. If they want to fucking have a pony, I'll, bo I'll work my bollocks off to afford a fucking pony. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that's what I'm looking forward to because, like I said, I'm 29, and up till this point, my only responsibility has been me, and except when I got him. Yeah. So as soon as I got Finn, I think I grew up. I think I really like matured yeah. when I got Finn. Well, it's like you're having a kid anyway, isn't it? Yeah. He's so fucking needy. Yeah, so since I got him, look at him being such a cutie now. But then I think when I get a girlfriend, I'll grow up even more. But I'm making sure I find the right girl this time mm. instead of just hopping on whatever's the hottest because that's easy. Like, yeah, I'm looking for that emotional connection now. Which is not easy. As I'm fine, mate. I'm 29. <laughs> I gotta be fucking careful with who I hook up with now, because that could be like lifelong yeah. shit. So I'm just being careful, and I'm, I like being single. I do. I like being a bit cheeky. I like being out on a date here and there. I like having a girl over here and there. I like. Mm. I enjoy that life, but I also mm. think I'm ready to settle if I can find the right lady that wants me and I want her. Sounds a bit gay, doesn't it? Hit them up. Yeah, DM me, ladies. But mate, it's gonna be like. 40 boys or yeah, something. <laughs> Wanking to our voices. <laughs> Put your dicks away, man. <laughs> right, let's see if we've got any more questions or if we wrap this up. No. Nah, what do you mean? Mate, we've been doing it nearly an hour. 12 or 9. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. 
opinions on... I think you'd be good at this. this is the underscore Ryan underscore Barbrook underscore six. That's a lot of underscores, man. Uh, opinions on banger racing and have you ever been? Um, banger racing, again, pretty scary, I think. I think there is... That is... If there's one yeah, car sport that's... that absolutely terrifies me... You've got to be, like, borderline nuts. <laughs> I think you like, actually do. Because going around a muddy ring... <laughs> muddy ring. Uh, smashing into cars. That's not normal. Like and pl- like, like plowing into the front of someone to write their car like, to stop their engine, so that's them out of the game. That's not, that's not cool. Do you know what? I, I, do you, will you? I think you come with us. Me, Vic, Nave, Harsai, Foxel. Foxel, Foxel yeah. yeah, and there was us two as well, being the fucking mm. homo couple there because yeah. I was third wheel or sixth wheel or whatever. <laughs> Basically, like watching that limo. Plow into that pile up and just watching cars go from being regular sized cars to bean cans and guys just climbing out yeah. of them like like nothing's happened. I could not believe it. I was I was literally terrified that we were gonna watch somebody die. Yeah, that's genuinely I honestly was petrified that we were gonna watch somebody die that day. And I I'm glad we didn't, because I think that would ruin my life. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, bang racing is a good... It, it, it is, though. I have to say, so much fun to go to. Yeah, like, definitely. It is a wicked night out, mm. and I want to go more often. Like I do want to go more mm. often. It's something like... This is like me trying to make more time for myself now. That's something mm. I want to do. Yeah. I want to go on the weekends and watch that occasionally, because yeah. it's wicked. And one of the lads that I do the welding course with, he does bang racing. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm going to probably cool. try and go uh, see him do it, because he's a really nice guy. Yeah. He, I said to him, I was, we were chatting about it the other day, and I said, like... Um, you know, I just think people like you must be mental. Like, no offense, but I can't work out where the enjoyment is. Yeah, of smashing into literally the side of like crashing into each other, yeah. like with no fear. And he was like, "Yeah, we are a bit mental." That's literally what he said. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Okay." Let's have a little nervous laugh and walks away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, right. Yeah. So I love banger racing. I think it's wicked, and yeah. I think it should be televised. Yeah, definitely. Let's finish on a downer. Oh, Dale Danger asked, "Why did you vanish from the videos for ages? Because we fell out. Yeah, we. I mean, we're friends. That's what friends. Ha- it happens. Yeah. When friends. Like you're not always gonna agree and see eye to eye, but we didn't really fall out. We kind of just stopped talking mm. because of the awkward situation, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah. like I didn't fall out. I didn't hate you at all. No, like, it's just, just like, we. I think we just the situation become very awkward, and Adam was too much of a pussy to message me. Says the guy that didn't message me. They're gonna fall out. <laughs> but I, I honestly believe like it's made us better friends. Yeah, as definitely. like lame as that might sound, I think I think it's made us better friends. I think time apart makes the heart grow fonder. They say. I know you miss me. I didn't miss you. Fuck off. You're I replaced lying. you with you're more friends. You're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I was like, I think we've become better friends now, and I'm glad it happened because I don't really feel like unless you like got with my future girlfriend or something <laughs> like there's nothing we can really fall out nah. about now so unless you take one of my ep3 jokes seriously one day because i do kind of hammer you a little bit about it but yeah no but it's not a bad it's, banter, it's it? not a bad I, like, you know i like your car like yeah. you know i like it it's just like it's, you give me grief for how unreliable the nissan is yeah. it's just what friends do isn't it because like, it is unreliable oh yeah but your car's slow so. yeah, but it's not that slow though is it, it oh it would be against yeah, myself yeah because you have pretty much need double the horsepower so <laughs> My car's you've not got, much. You've my, got double the reliability, boy. This is true. My <laughs> car's not much slower than Morgan's, Sylvia. Yeah, but it should be faster. Who should be? Hmm? He should be faster. No, you should be faster. How? This is a shitty standard, Sylvia. Yeah, but it's got two hundred and forty odd rate horsepower. That's probably now two hundred and ten from being that old. Yeah. True. But he does weigh the, you know, the same amount as my wallet. <laughs> I can't fit in his seat. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's an SPG though. It's tiny. Like it's yeah, like he, he is tiny. Midget spec. But yeah, I think. Uh, well, one more question. What fucking hell? I've got five let's, let's, have an let's find a juicy one. Hang on, someone sent me a, uh, a Snapchat. Uh, let me find it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Some guy said, "Will you send him woolly pigs?" He didn't really. I'm joking. Um, it's hard. Some guy said, "As Easy Store said, I love his beard." Thank you. So does he, by the looks of it. He's fucking licking it's it. It's because I conditioned it. It's fucking rank. <laughs> um, 
Team of Arms nearly everything, man. How we met. Okay, I can answer this one. That's from know? Ricky EM1. Big up your boy Ricky. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I miss Ricky, man. He's like the nicest yeah. guy fucking ever. I speak to Ricky all the time. Do you? Yeah. Ricky, I miss you, dude. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go over next year and see No, you're not. You can more shit than a fucking horse's asshole pops out, mate. Mate, your face looks like a fucking horse's asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, seriously, because he's still gonna stay here. His flights are 500 quid. Mate, he's, I'd do it, man. He's a lovely, lovely fella. Everybody go follow Ricky EM1 on Instagram and tell him we sent you. And tell him his car's cool as well. It is cool. cool. It is a cool car. You wouldn't even be lying. No. But he's a lovely guy. <laughs> I, li- I really like Ricky. I wish he'd come over again. He's, um, he, he, when, when he came over and I picked him up at that hotel in the EZ, he was like, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, oh, you wait until yeah. you see the rest of these. Yeah, you, you wait until your back hurts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but so yeah, how we met? We um, met because we were down in the industrial estate and you came down with either Richard or Aaron or someone, one of the BMX or biker boys, and you just got in my car because you didn't want to go out, you didn't want to go home. Do you remember that? Well, I was in the Blue no. Civic and I think I was with Tika at the time, and you knew Tika. So you were like, oh, I'll get in your car and I'm riding around with you. And I was like, oh, I'm fucking, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. <laughs> and, I, and then you were just chatting shit, being peck, and I was just like, this guy's all right. And then, we, and then you... If anybody ever starts talking to Peck, if he likes you, he'll add you on Facebook and then just instantly message you until you have to message him back. <laughs> it is the most annoying thing. <laughs> but you get to know him and then you think, actually, this geezer's is quite sound. And then you're a loyal friend, to be fair. I think you are. Yeah. Help you out when I can. Yeah. When I get a pink slip from the missus. A pink slip from the missus. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I think that's how we met. We met down the uh, Culture Star. Uh, not Industrial Estate. It was the Patch. Down oh, the patch. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Oh, yeah. Who drove around in the yeah. Blue for ages. Yeah, I do remember you that. You were like, fuck, this must be well fast. Yeah. Like, yeah, mate, it's 110 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The good old days. Yeah, were those, the hunt those? for 200 horsepower. And then you ploughed into that deer and killed, and killed it. R.I.P. Civic. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, as much as I joke about that now, I, I, I've got so many fond memories of them older mm. Hondas, man. I've still got personal reasons now why I don't want to fucking promote the brand. I can't go into it in a minute, but... It's a touchy subject. It's a very touchy subject. Maybe I can dive into that another day if, if the podcast starts to take off and people actually want and we can see if we can... I don't know. I think it's quite a touchy subject, especially considering the industry I'm now trying to pursue. Mm. But I've got Toyota on board. Toyota are the best Japanese car company in the world for working with Andy Lou. Supra. I know you want to let me have one, man. Yes, like, why, where, where, the, where was my invite to the press day? But, um, yeah, let us borrow a Supra for the weekend. The new one. No, old one. If they've got an old one, 100%. Have you seen what John Banks Honda are doing? No. The, the, you know that field they have opposite them? Yeah. They've got, they've got all their trading vehicles over there. Oh, yeah, there. we used to do that all the time. Half price. Yeah, we used to do that all the time. Well, that's the day you're going to get your boy, that. <laughs> <laughs> Go speak to Ed Kreckler at John Banks Honda. He's the only place I'll shout out because I used to fucking love working there. The Banks were a great family to work for. Um, until they got rid of me. They made me redundant. And <laughs> put me in their other... If you put that in my face, I'll fucking never talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> he just cupped his own fart. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, yeah, fucking sick. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how we've got on a Twitter, but I love them. Yeah, they're brilliant. They're, they're wonderful to work with, and I love them. And I hope, we get to, I hope I get to do a lot more, a lot more stuff with Twitter. Yeah. Maybe they should take me and you somewhere. That'd be sick. Collab video, but just for my channel. Yeah. Because you don't have a channel. But like... I don't need a channel. Adam and Peck go adventuring around Europe in the yeah. new Supra. Yeah, that'd be sick. I'd, I'd settle for a GT86, but... To, uh, Toyota Hilux off-roading. No, because what I'm thinking... I love the Hilux, by the way. But what I'm thinking is that if they gave us, like, a GT86... Right, we could go like on a little European road trip and go via Nürburgring. I've never done Nürburgring before. Andy, come on, bro. I know you're listening. I know Andy <laughs> listens, man. So I think I, I hopefully will have buried that into his brain. Everybody go tell Andy Lou, Keith Hobb and Gob on Instagram. Just DM him literally until the point where he has to give me a car and Peck to come around Europe <laughs> and do like a sponsored road trip That'd where we're in five star hotels and like <laughs> living the dream and he has models waiting at every hotel for me, not Peck because he's got a girlfriend. And then uh... <laughs> it's fine, anyway. I want to go around the Nürburgring in a in a rented tour. I think that'd be sick and just go ham. Yeah. And can they pay for any barriers if I crash? You're not gonna crash though because you're a good driver. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm a bad driver, yeah, I'm but so that'll bad. be the, where I find out who I am. 
this is true. Yeah. I think the drifting's definitely gave me that additional dimension to mm. my driving because if a car used to slide out, my you know that feeling you get in your stomach where you're like, <gasps> you know that feeling yeah. of just <gasps> that where yeah. you where your where your butthole clenches and your whole go a bit cold and yeah. you're like shit. Because when I had that old E92, the three two five. I mm. got it sideways around a roundabout once and I shit myself. Mm. I drove at like 25 mile an hour the whole way home. But now, if a car steps out, I just like to keep it out. I just hope there's no police. Yeah. And then if there is, I'll just yank on the hydro a little bit and oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I lost control. <laughs> but no, I think that, I, I think that would be a sick idea for a really cool video. Yeah. A couple of lads just go adventuring around Europe in a Supra, the new one. Mm. Showing people that it is a sick car. Because I believe this um, Toyota BMW collab they've done. Because it's a Beamer engine in it they've used. Really? Yeah, they've used a BMW engine in it. And I honestly think it's going to be an amazing so car. it's going to be a pretty much bulletproof engine. Well, exactly. And everybody... I think this is the thing that a lot of people don't realise. I think it's a lot of these um, morons that... They'll probably own like a fucking standard Toyota Avensis. No, a VW Bora. Yeah. They're like, all right, should have stayed a Toyota Avensis. Needs like, a B5. Everybody says that the 335 twin turbo engine is the new 2JZ anyway. So mm. it sounds like a perfect match made in heaven. Yeah. And I cannot wait to have a go. Well, they, I didn't really they, they say the, the BMW 5, is it the 535? Remapped is just as good as the M5. Like no, no, it's the 335 diesel 3 series is just oh, as fast sorry. like as an M3 basically. Yeah. Who has more torque than yeah, M3 or something? Yeah, which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I am. Um, I I really am excited for this car, and I I didn't think I was gonna be. Well, when I saw that is it FT1 concept they did, mm. I nearly jizzed my pants. I was like, oh my god. We'll have to obviously wait to see what the final production one looks like. But if it looked like that FT1, oh, let's make oh, it happen. Mate. Well, mate, I can weld now. Well, I'll be out, I'll be out of weld once <laughs> so I've you'd like to replace the panels when you crash. Mate, I'm gonna load. buy. I'm gonna get Toyota. Gonna give me a Supra. <laughs> Andy Lou, you're going to give Adam Ivan the Supra. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that I'll was just, so seductive. I'll just cussed it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get in Andy Lou's head that he's going to give me the Supra. <laughs> I'm going to just... Uh, gonna, <laughs> I imagine custom making that FT1 in real yeah. life off of the Supra. I think it'd be sick. Yeah. And then whacking the boost up to like yeah. two bar. <laughs> just doing... I, I just really, really hope that... I know I don't have a huge following on that, but compared to other YouTubers and that, but I will give like raw and honest opinion on it. Hmm. And I know I'm going to love it because I love Toyota and I love BMW. So yeah. it's quite hard for me to give anything negative about it. And it drifts. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see Freddie Asbo going around in it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Boy. We're going to be getting that thing sideways. I mean, we're definitely going to drive it very sensibly. Yeah, e eco mode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe not. No, not at all. We're lying. Yeah, completely. But Andy Lou should get out of my for the Toyota <laughs> Supra. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Right, I think we should wrap it up now because we've been over an hour. I think. Hopefully, this has come out really well. Thank you very much, Tom Pecker. T right. Pain. Always, always a pleasure. Is it? No, I say a pleasure. I don't know. It's always a fucking, you give me a, it's always a fucking, fucking headache. Inconvenience. You give me a headache. Literally, you know, like, you know, just when like your back aches a little bit and you end up getting a headache, or your neck aches, no. and you're like, oh, I'm getting a headache. That's what I feel like. You're fucking lying. I'm lying. Yeah. Cheers, Peck. It's been fun. At Tom Peck on Instagram. Uh, oh, Nate asked a question. Yeah. Where's my 20 quid? Yeah. He's such a... He's so fucking predictable. <laughs> Boring! Yeah, fucking hell. Get a life, you sad ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm taking photos of a wedding. Again! Fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't think you're allowed to say faggot. I can say what I fucking want. <laughs> I think... I don't like how gays have adapted that as their term. Rory, at my work, if we say faggot, that's it, mate. I don't think... I think they should unclaim that word. I mean, it's a sausage. It's a sausage, isn't it? And that's the problem. Every time I go to Tesco, I'm like, ooh, should I laugh? Yeah. <laughs> and I tend to. Oh, a packet of faggot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't, whenever, if I ever do say that, I never mean it in a mm. nasty way yeah. towards gay people. Like, I literally couldn't give a shit where you yeah. put your willy or where willy's going you. I don't care. I'm all for it. Normal in I bet, I, I bet they have better relationships than fucking. Yeah, they do say that men. Like, Is there anything more fucking male than fucking a man? Anything more alpha? Don't know really. I don't know either. I, I guess at the same time you can have your best mate, can't you? I'm gonna have really like weird, isn't it? Not really. I wouldn't be able to look you in the eye again. No. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> but that's because we're not that way inclined. <laughs> but oh, this has gone on a weird tangent, hasn't it? <laughs> anyway, welcome to Carbox Podcast, everyone. This is how weird it's gonna fucking get. No, and it's not on camera anymore. <laughs> Anyway, dudes, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this has made, if you're listening on your way to work and on your way home, like more enjoyable. Remember, you can check us out on every platform now because of this wonderful thing called Anchor. Not sponsored at all by them, but um, 
it makes it so much easier to do podcasts. So if you're thinking about doing a podcast, check out Anchor. They're fucking amazing. You just upload it to that and it fucking puts it everywhere. It's amazing. Big up that them guys. And thank you to Christian at Honda Vlogs for introducing me to them. Go make sure you check out Honda Vlogs as well. Um, he's a good guy. Is that the guy in America? Yes, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a really good dude. Um, yeah, Christian cool. Perez. Shout out my, my dude. Um, I realised, I've just thought, before we finish, when we were talking about favourite cars, I didn't even mention the EG. Like, it didn't even, well, like... Well, if it hasn't entered your mind, it's not your favourite car anymore. Well, the problem is, when I look at it, I love that car. But when I don't, I don't think about it. Hmm. Well, that's something to discuss next time. Maybe. If you want back, back on the podcast, let me know in the comments on YouTube down below or wherever you're listening to this. Just drop us an Instagram and say, uh, I've had a couple of really positive reactions from the last one I did, and I really appreciate that. That made me want to do more. I hope we haven't said anything too offensive. I hope you'll forget where I live and I hope you won't tell my mum about some of the stories in this. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Make sure to check out 621.com for all your car parts needs, modifier, aftermarket, all the rest of it. And you can check out and get... A... Oh, I've ordered all the new merch today, by the way. Sick. Sick. Could be here soon. Well, not too soon because I've, I've ordered a fucking lot. Like a fucking lot. Rucksacks? No. Damn. I'm not popular enough to sell rucksacks. Anyway. Trackies? No, I'm not popular enough to sell trackies. I'm not FYD, mate. But my following, if I bought trackies, they'd be like, what the fuck? I'd have a cupboard full of 50 trackies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cheers, guys. Um, make sure you hit subscribe to whatever platform you're listening on, and we'll check you out next time. Peace. No, we won't check you out. Hopefully, you'll check us out. <laughs> All right. Okay. See you later on, guys. I might, have to, I might have to stop you saying that. I don't, think, I don't think you're allowed to say you it. You are. Mate, it's 2018. Everyone's allowed. Shut up. I love gay people. It's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Can we just say, can we have permission from them? I don't know if any gays are going to listen. I don't think there's any... Apart from you. Or Nath. Maybe Nath. Maybe Freddie, actually. <laughs> he does wear that fucking t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll see you later, guys. Take it easy. I hope Bye. you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.